Doing voiceover like this for a game is a lot different for film actors than what they normally do. Tricky business the Iron Man filmmakers are in, portraying character when you can't see the face of the actor. If you want to know what's going on, we have the voice. We have the uh, rare privilege of working with both Sam Jackson. Specialist, get me the latest tax set data. Tax set data, tax set data, tax set data. I wasn't prepared to say that word. I practiced all the other shit, but not that. And, and Don Cheadle. Zeptorn? Is that as fictitious as it sounds? <laughs> so having the actual voice actors in is essential to the game. That's what makes it an Iron Man 2 game. Don Cheadle as War Machine is just amazing, both in the film and in the game. And to have him participate in a video game was just a stroke of luck for us. I think this is his first video game, which is very cool. Yes! Thank you, Tony, for making a suit that can handle that. Don Cheadle is a machine. I mean... He plays War Machine, but he charged right through everything we had in front of him. Very professional. We do retakes, whatever was necessary. Oh, I love this suit. He knows his character, so a lot of the time we were relying on him for basically the establishment of the characters. Your next line down. Word. You got mm -hmm. it. I know. Two oh six. I'm no, 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 I think uh, Road is saying word. Yeah. <laughs> War Machine is an extension of Rhodey. I think he sees himself as being a protector of what is needed in this country. He came in and he was Rhodey, and it was wonderful. And when people load up the game and they load up War Machine, they're really going to believe that they are Don Cheadle as Rhodey as War Machine. And the reason we got Sam Jackson was actually because of Don Cheadle. Was Don this difficult? He was texting me while he was here. Pulled out his phone and he texted Sam. He wanted Sam Jackson to know that we were good to work with and this is going to be a great experience for him. He was going, don't f with this. This is crazy. <laughs> and within a week, we had Sam Jackson. I've known who Nick Fury was for a very long time. All of a sudden, I picked up a comic book one day, and that was my face. And it was Nick Fury. So I said, well, OK, this is cool. So when they make the movie, I guess I'll get a chance to play Nick Fury. Copy the living hell out of that. Uh, Nick Fury, as the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., is the ultimate badass. So he's going to be directing you as you go through? It's a pretty powerful position. To bring him into the game, not just his voice, but his likeness as well, it provides that connection and that authenticity. A little respect wouldn't hurt. I actually went and directed all of the voice acting sessions because it's so important to get that correct tone, that correct feel. AIM has Jarvis and can power him up. What's the threat assessment? All you can kind of rely on is if you believe the dialogue that you're saying is, you know, kind of in concert with what your character beats would be in the film. It seems like they're the same guy. War Machine out. No, that's not it. War Machine out. There it is. As a voice director, I really try to let the actor do a lot of the work. Two in a row, pressure's back on him on 64. Hey, you're Tony Stark, right? You think of something. It's about letting them have the creative freedom to bring the character to life. This is Stormbreaker 1. What can we do for you today, Rain Man? Get the groove, we start working well together, and uh, then you just roll through. And it's amazing how fast we roll through these things. 60 lines an hour sometimes. That was great, Sam. If you look at a movie set, you have days for two lines. I love working on games like Iron Man 2 a little bit more. Great uh, stuff, don't yeah. stand by for playback. Because it gives the chance for an actor to be an actor. You just put yourself in that frame of mind and you just you act. I, I got him! I kind of got him! Take the shot, Tony! It's an opportunity to keep my hand in the universe and hopefully I'll play a bigger part in those films and not just keep showing up and talking to people. I actually kill somebody. Good work, everyone! Awesome job, fellas!